Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we'll start from Al-Wahnatul Ula, At-Tahiyyatu At-Taru for Dasus Samin. If anyone has any question regarding the previous classes, she can ask me now. Then we will continue our lesson. Yes, Miss Amina, you can ask now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. There was a word in the uh, description of the lesson. I think it's tabadil or tabadil. Okay, this one? Yes. Okay, the what, word. What does this mean? The word is tabadil here. Tabadil yes. means exchange. Means? Exchange. Exchange, thank you. Yes. He's ordering us to exchange. It is an imperative word. Yep, thank you. Okay. So we have at the dribble of first exercise Unzu Wastami Wakara. Look and listen and read. Anyone just raise her hand who wants to read it. Okay, Miss Amina, read it. Okay. Um, Anna, yes, Anta, Auntie, Hua, Hia, Talib, Mudarris, Tabiba, Muhandisa, Hada, Hadihi. So, I hope you all know the meanings of these words. If anyone does not know, she can ask me by unmuting her microphone. Next, we have Atadri Sadis, sixth exercise. Unzur was the Miyakra. Again, he is asking us to read these sentences. So, Miss Tessin, kindly read it. Miss um. Tessin, read it. Yes, I'm unmuted. I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I can, I can, I was unmuting myself. So. Okay. Who so, are Talib? Good. He a Talib. Good. Who are Mudarris? He a Mudarrisa. Anna Turki. Anna Min Surya. Anna Mohandis. Anna Min Pakistan. He a Misriya. Good. <laughs> Next, we have our writing chapter. If any one of you wants to do it, I can guide you. Otherwise, it is not very necessary. So if anyone wants to do it, she can tell me. I will guide her how to do it. Okay, we better proceed to the next one. al Saniya al So now we are going to start the second unit. But first, we will revise the old dialogues that we have studied. So I need two students. Just raise your hand. I need two students. Kindly raise your hand. Okay, Miss Tessin and Miss Amina. You both will greet each other and you will ask each other name and each other condition. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Kaifa haluki? Bakhir walhamdulillah. Miss Tassin, B khair. We have kasra with B. Okay. B khair walhamdulillah. And ask her the same question. Okay. Kaifa haluki? Wa kaifa haluki, anzi, okay. Wa kaifa haluki. Anna bi khayrin, shukran, jazilan, alhamdulillah. Okay, now I ask each other country and nationality. Ma jin siya tuki. Anna Britaniya. Wa anti. Wa anti. Ma jin siya tuki. Anna Pakistani. 
and I'm in Pakistan. Pakistani is male, but you are a female. Oh. Oh, okay. And I'm Pakistani. And I'm in Pakistan. So ask her. What agency are you from? Uh, Anna Britannia. Masmuka, Masmuki. Ismi Tahseen. Wa Masmuki? Uh, ismi Amina. Okay, good. Ahlan wa sahlan. Now we need two more students which are Miss Satya and Miss Salwa. You both will greet each other and ask each other name, country, nationality. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam. Kaifa haluki ya ukti? Ana bikari. Wa kaifa haluki anti? Ana bikari wa alhamdulillah. Kaifa haluki? Ana bikari. Alhamdulillah. Min aina anti? Ana min Sri Lanka wa min aina anti? Ana min Pakistan. Ma jinsi? Ma jinsi ya tuki? Ma jinsi ya tuki? Ana Sri Lanka ya Ana min Sri Lanka. Wa ma jinsi ya tuki anti? Ana Pakistani ya. Ma ismu ki? You had already asked this question. Okay, now Ms. Silva introduce your sister to Ms. Satya. Tell Satya about your sister. You will say Hazihi Ukhti, then you will say her name. Hazihi Ukhti Fatima. Or whatever. Hazihi Ukhti Fatima. Hiyat Wabiba. Okay, good. Wahiyat Wabiba. Okay, now Ms. Satya, introduce your sister to her. Hazihi Ukhti. Hiya Mudaris. Mudaris, okay. Ms. Salva, welcome her. Ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, now we'll continue our lesson. You all can mute yourself. Al-Wahdatu Saniya, second unit. Al-Usra, the family. Al-Wahdatu Saniya, Al-Usra, the family. And that's Al-Ashi. Tenth lesson, Al-Ard. Presentation. Al-Hewar, Al-Awwal. First dialogue. Unzur wa stamu wa'id. Ali says... Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Ammar replies, Wa alaikum as salam, and peace be upon you too. Ali says, Hazihi suratu usrati. This is my family picture. So here the word hazihi means this. And this word hazihi is used for feminine words only. Sura means picture. Usra mean family and ye mean my usrati my family this is my family picture masha allah the little meaning of masha allah is what allah wills and muslims use it use this phrase to protect someone from evil eye so muslim believe in the concept of evil eye that's why they use this phrase to protect anyone from the evil eye. So, mashallah means a little meaning is what Allah wills, and we use it to give someone in the protection of Allah. Okay, man haza, who is this? Man haza, who is this? Man means who, and haza means this. So, hazihi and haza, meaning of both words is same, but Hazihi used for feminine words and Haza is used for masculine words. Okay, Haza Walidi Adnan. This is 
my father walid mean father and he mean my walidi my father this is my father adnan wahuwa muhandis and he is an engineer so huwa mean he muhandis mean engineer this is my father adnan and he is an engineer ammar woman has he and who is this ali has he walidati saida wahiya tabiba this is my mother saida and she is a doctor Ammar woman has a and who is this? Ali has a Akhi Isa Wahuwa Talib. This is my brother Isa and he is a student. Ammar woman has he and who is this? Ali has he Ukti Abla Wahiya Muallima. This is my sister Abla and she is a teacher. Wahaza Jaddi and this is my grandfather. Wahazihi Jaddati and this is my grandmother. Amar says, Masha Allah. Now I need two students who will read this dialogue. Miss Najat, Miss Najat will read it. Miss Najat, you are Ali. And okay. Miss Tessin, you are Ammar. Okay, inshallah. Assalamu okay. alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hazi Surat al Usra. Surat Allah. Surat Man hadha? Hazi Surati Usrati. No, no, no. Hazi Suratu. Tu. Su Hazi Suratu Usrati. Masha Allah. Man Haza. Haza Walidi Adnan. Wahuwa Muhandis. Waman Hazi. Hazi Walidati Said. 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 Wahiya ta tabiba. Read this word again. Saida. Saida. Good. Woman has a. Has a ahi isa. Wahua talib. Woman has a he. Has a he ukti. Ableta. Abla. When we stop at that, become ha. Abla. Abla. Wahia Muallima. Wahaze. Wahaza Jaddi. Wahazihi Jaddati. Masha Allah. Okay, now we need two more students, Miss Salva and Miss Farah. But uh, you will use your the real name of your family, okay? You will replace their name with your family names and also you will use their real professions, okay? So, Miss Salva, you are first student and Miss Farha, you are second student. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Hadihi suratu usrati. Mashallah. Min haza. Man, haza. man mean who? Min mean from. Okay. Man haza. Haza walidi Usman. Wahua muallim. Man, woman hazihi. Hazihi walidati Maryam. Wahia muallima. Baman Haza Haza Ahi Adnan Wahua Muhandis Waman Hazihi Hazihi Ukti Alia Wahia Toliba 
Okay, now if anyone has any questions, she can ask me now. No question, so we can proceed. Al Mufradat vocabulary. I'll add presentation on the worst of me why it look and repeat. Anyone raise her hand? Yes, Miss Farah. Now, do you want to ask any question? Chapter. Sorry, what? Who is this top chapter? Okay, chapter 10. Adarsul Ashir. 10th lesson, page number okay. 29 of the book. Okay, sir. Okay, Ms. Tessin, read the vocabulary. Okay. Um, al Mufradat, Al Ardu, Unzur, Wastame, Waid, Sura, Usra, Jad, Jadda, Muallama, Muallima, 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 Talib, Walida, Walid. Okay, a tadrib mean exercise sil bain al kalimati was so ratil munasiba. Connect between the word and appropriate picture. So you just join the word with appropriate picture, then make the picture and upload it to Google Classroom where you will find this screenshot. There you will submit this homework. So this is your homework. And let me tell you uh, tell you all a very important thing about homework. I can tolerate the absentees because i know you have most of you have families or most some of you have jobs but i will not tolerate with the homework you must all complete the homework within one month from the next month i will start removing those who will not submit their homework on google classroom so if anyone has any issue in google classroom she can ask me now you have just one month to complete your homework. Next, Al Wahda Tusaniya Al Usra Darsul Hadi Ashara, 11th lesson. Al Hewar Usani, Unzur Wastami Waid. Umar, Hal Hazihi Shajara. Is this family tree? The word Shajara means tree, but in this question it means family tree. Is this a family tree? Usman Nam, yes. Has he Usra to Rasuli, Salallahu Ali Yusalam? Yes. This is the family of Rasulullah, Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Oh, peace be upon him, you can also say. And as you all know, that it is necessary for Muslims whenever they hear the name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, they must say, Salallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why Umar replied with Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So in this dialogue, whenever I will say the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will also say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Usman Aza Waliduhu Abdullah. This is his father, Abdullah. So first you learned about Yi. Yi mean my. Now you are learning about who. Ha dhamma who which means his. Who mean his. Haza walidu who Abdullah. This is his father Abdullah. Miss Amina is saying something. I don't understand what she wants to say. Assalamu alaikum. The sound disappeared. Okay. Do other students hear me? Can other students hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Other... So this means other student can hear me. Maybe miss there is some problem on your side with your internet. Okay. Haza Waliduhu Abdullah. This is his father Abdullah. Wahazihi walidatuhu amina. 
and this is his mother Amina. Usman, wahaza jadduhu Abdul Muttalib, and this is his grandfather Abdul Muttalib. Wahaza ammuhu Abbas, and this is his uncle Abbas. Wahaza ammuhu Hamza, and this is his uncle Hamza. Umar, wahaza ammuhu Abu Talib, and this is his uncle Abu Talib. Usman, wahazihi ammatuhu Safiya, and this is his auntie Safiya. Qasim, and this is his son Qasim. Wahazabnuhu Abdullah, and this is his son Abdullah. Wahazabnuhu Ibrahim, and this is his son Ibrahim. Wahazihibnatuhu Fatima, and this is his daughter Fatima. Wahazihibnatuhu. Rukia. And this is his daughter Rukia. Wahazihi Benatuhu Zainab, and this is his daughter Zainab. Wahazihi Benatuhu Umukulsum, and this is his daughter Umukulsum. When I am reading this uh, dialogue, everyone must. Uh, keep her microphone muted because our student just complained me about the background noise which was coming from two students okay now miss mariam you will read this dialogue miss mariam sagir if you are available you can read it هل هذه شجرة؟ نعم هذه أسرة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم عمر صلى الله عليه وسلم عثمان هذه والده عبد الله هذا هذا والده عبد الله عمر وهذه والدته أمينة Uthman, wahaza jadduhu abdul muttalib. Umar, wahaza ammuhu al-Abbas. Uthman, wahaza ammuhu Hamza. Umar, wahaza ammuhu Abu Talib. Uthman, wahazihi ammatuhu Safiya. Umar, wahazi binuhu wahaza wahaza binuhu Qasim. Uthman, wahaza ibnuhu Abdullah. Umar, wahaza ibn, ibnuhu Ibrahim. Uthman, wahazi ibnatuhu Fatima. Umar, wahazi ibnatuhu Ruqiya. Uthman, wahazi ibnatuhu Zainab. Umar, wahazi ibnatuhu Ummu Kulthum. If any lady has any questions, she can ask me. Okay, Miss Tassin, read the vocabulary on the next page. Um, salam Um, so a shajara, Adnan, Am, Amma, Ibn, Ibna. Adrib, sil bain al kalimati wa surat al munasiba. You will join the words with appropriate picture. Then you will send the picture of it in the Google Classroom. Next, we have Ali Hivarus Salis, third dialogue. Okay. Al um, haza azan ul fajr. This is fajr azan. Al ab, the father replies. Allah Akbar, Allah is greatest. Allah Akbar, Allah is greatest. Ain al awlad, where are the children? Awlad means children. Ain al awlad, where are the children? 
al um the mother replies sad fil hammami yatawadda sad is in the bathroom he is making wudu so here you are introduced to the verbs so yatawadda mean he is making wudu ya mean he and tawadda is for wuzu so ya this type of ya mean he saad fil hamami yatawaddaw saad is in the bathroom he is making wudu al ab the father wa aina saeed and where is saeed al um the mother saeed fil ghurfati yaqra al quran everyone kindly mute herself otherwise i will have to remove her okay everyone kindly mute herself now saeed fil ghurfati yaqra al quran saeed is in the room he is reading quran so yaqra'u he is reading al ab wa aina saida and where is saida so this time you see we have a female so we need to change the verb also al um saida fil musalla tusalli saida is in the musalla she is praying so ya mean he and ta mean she so yakro mean he is reading takrao she is reading yusalli he is praying to salli she is praying you need to memorize this difference al ab aina al mataf where is the coat now mataf is a masculine word so we will say haza huwa for the mataf haza huwa al mataf ya walidi here it is the coat o oh my father so whenever anyone are ask you something and you bring that thing to him at the time of giving him this thing you will say haza huwa let's suppose your husband ask you aina al mataf where is the coat when you bring him the coat you will say to him haza huwa al mataf here it is the coat okay so at the time of giving someone anything we say haza huwa here it is and we also use it to point toward the things okay wa aina nazara and where are the glasses so nazara has a round ta ta marbuta at the end so this means this is a feminine word any word which has a round ta at the end is considered as a feminine word in arabic so aina nazara and where are the glasses so for feminine thing we say hazihi hi yan nazara here are the glasses for masculine we say haza huwa for feminine we say hazihi hiya here are the glasses of my father al ab says the father says hayya bina ila al masjid let's go to the masjid saad wa said reply hayya bina let's go hayya bina mean let's go now we need two students who want to read this miss amina and one more student required miss amina and miss rahma you both will read this Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Miss Amina, you are Al Um. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Anna Maryam. Okay, Miss Maryam, you are Al Ab here, and other lady yeah. is Al Um. Okay, so start the dialogue. Okay. okay. Al Um. Hada adhanul fajri. Miss Maryam, reply. Al Ab, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Aina Aulad. Aina Aulad. Aina Aulad. 
الأم سعد في سعد في الحمام يتوضع الأب وأين سعيد الأم سعيد في الغرفة يقرأ ال يقرأ القرآن الأب أين مئتاف؟ أنت ما ت but you have not written it well. When I said أين وأين سعيد أنت أمي سعيدة في المصلي تصلي. So what is your question here? Here she made a mistake by when reading it. Maybe she has jumped it to another place. Okay. Uh, we missed the line. We missed the line. We missed the line. 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 Missed Who's the next? Miss Malifu. We will have to remove the Miss Malifu. I have no other question. Salam alaikum. No, I have removed the Miss Malifu because there was too much noise. Okay, Miss Rahma and the other lady will continue the dialogue from the beginning, while all other will mute themselves. Let me mute everyone. Okay, Ms. Rama and other lady will continue this dialogue now from the beginning. Ms. Rama, you are Al Um. Unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, Ms. Rama, you are Al Um. Start the dialogue. هذا أثان الفجر. Okay. Me? Yes. I mean. Answer her. الله أكبر. الله أكبر. أين الأولاد؟ سعد في الحمام يتوضع. وأين السعيد؟ سعيد سعيد في الغرفة يقرأ القرآن. وأين سعيدة؟ سعيدة في المصلي تصلي. أين أين المفتاح؟ Sorry, أين المعد؟ هذا هو المحتف يا والدي وأين وأين النظرة وأين النظرة هذه هي النظرة يا والدي Miss Amina, read this one again وأين النظرة هذه هي النظرة يا والدي هيا بنا هيا بنا إلى المسجد وسعيد هيا بنا Okay, now if any lady has any questions she can ask me now. 